All right, ladies and gentlemen, Melina's going to model here. All right, totally enjoy the show. Looking ultra glam, right? Now, you wouldn't want Melina to look ultra plain. You want her to look ultra glam, right? Glam, like glam, you know what I mean by glam? Glam is this, all right? This is the true definition of glam, all right? Going to pose here like nobody's business. Now, believe it or not, Melina had days where she didn't feel like she was going to be a Hollywood star. Now, I'm not a Hollywood star by any stretch of the imagination. Even though I kind of look a lot better than Kelly Clarkson and I look a lot better than a lot of stars and starlets, but I never thought I would be someone in the, in the spotlight. I never thought that because... Because I tried modeling years and years and years ago when I was 18, I tried modeling and I didn't actually make it. And I thought, I thought to myself, they want me to be an actor, an actor, oh, not an actor, obviously, because I was Marco, but they wanted me to be an actor. And I was like, well, can I fit that bill? I don't know. I don't know. I just don't know. I was kind of really nervous at the time and I was like really young and I thought, well, there's no way I can be an actor. I want to be a model. Modeling's easy, right? All you have to do is look very good. And of course, modeling isn't easy, but I thought that at the time, and I was like, well, they don't want me to be a model, and I can't act. Well, I know I can't act now, but I didn't know I could, I could act before, so I thought I couldn't act. So I thought, well, what am I going to do? I don't know what I'm going to do. So I'm like, well, well, I guess I'm not model material. They didn't want me to be a model, but... I mean, with all the years going by and all the things that happened to me and all the times I tried to actually be in a Hollywood sort of sense of a spotlight, I kind of realized to myself, yeah, I am that person. I'm really, really good. But, but the people that I, I either they were, either, either they were scams that I was dealing with, which is a shame. You shouldn't have to deal with the scams, which is for when you're trying to be something in Hollywood and it's like a di difficult because you're like. How fair is that? You, know, you want to go to Hollywood, and then you got the scammer, and then you, and then a lot of people are crushed by that, right? They take that, they take a major offense to that. Uh, but yeah, so I had to deal with scammers. I dealt with people, and I, I actually did get in in to a Hollywood movie. It was a made-for-TV movie, so of course it's the low end of Hollywood, if you want to call it that. I mean, some people love made-for-TV movies, but I mean, as far as I'm concerned, Hollywood is more than made-for-TV movies, and if you're in a made-for-TV movie. You're probably not a very good actor unless you're uh, you are a good actor and you chose to do a major TV movie which I guess Rob Lowe was in the movie that I was in and so I met Rob Lowe and I was just kind of like you know there and I didn't really know what it was going on I was kind of like well I'm sitting here and they wanted me to be a featured member I was too nervous kind of I mean I could have done it but I want they wanted me to be a featured member because I looked so good and then they wanted me to do a scene with Rob Lowe and then they they were like well you know then I, it was a made for TV movie so I don't even know if you can actually buy the DVD for the movie I don't even know if it's on sale because it was a made for TV movie I'm not even sure if it flopped I don't even know Rob Lowe was nice but it didn't really you know Rob Lowe wouldn't have been an actor that I would have been totally enthralled by or anything so I was like this is crazy you know it was cool you know it was a cool set everything was cool Everything was nice. The food was good. And then I gained a lot of weight. And then I was like totally out of commission for Hollywood. Um, but, but um, yes. And then I tried getting into other movies. And one movie I tried to get into, I was like in such good shape. I was running every day all over the place. I was doing all kinds of things. And then they didn't ask me to do the movie. And I was like, well, I wanted to do the movie. I would have been so good for it. So that was cool, but it was like sad because they didn't get into the movie. And then I was like, hmm, I don't know if I'm cut out for this. So then I'm like, you know what, just be on YouTube, right? Be on YouTube and grow your, your subscribers. Grow your subscriber counts and then let it flourish, right? And so that's what I'm doing, all right? Now, because I've had those opportunities and they were close and false alarms and I dealt with scams too, but I dealt with some pretty major events, but... 
they were major, but everyone knew I was nervous, so they couldn't hire me, right? Like, it wasn't like they were at fault for anything, you know? Like, I can't blame them. I, I wouldn't have hired me either, you know? But, but it was like, well, what are you supposed to do, right? Like, you're, you can't get into Hollywood the regular way. Because you, you tried and you tried and you're like, well, you know, now I don't think I'd be as nervous, but I'm like, well, it's too late now because the auditions are done, you know, all that. But, and I live in, I live in a city that's smaller, so the auditions are not plentiful, right? They're not very plentiful. So when you're trying to audition, you don't really have much opportunity. I mean, there might be more now, or there might be some that I'm not sure of, but, you know, or maybe they... They only attempt to hire you in that one, and then if they don't get you in that one, they don't hire you at all. So, I mean, you need, in order to defy that, or not defy it in a rebellious way, because I love Hollywood, but in order to defy that in a sense where you're like, well, how am I going to be big? Like, I want to be big. That's what my goal is, right? Like, I want to be really famous, and I want to be really huge. Now, fame to me does not matter. Fame is not something that's important to me. I'm not about fame. And I'm not the type of person that will do anything for fame, right? Like, I'm not going to get a nose job or anything like that just because I wasn't hired in a movie for someone. You know what I mean? I'm not going to do something like that, right? I'm going to do the regular things that I normally do as a regular person and then try to be in the spotlight, all right? That's what I'm going to do, right? And I'm humble and everything, so to me fame and all that doesn't make a difference. But to me, fame is not important because I don't necessarily live for the fame. Like, I'm not like a fame junkie or anything like that. I'm kind of like the type of person that likes fame only because it pays well, right? Like, I, I want to be famous because I want the payout for a famous person, right? Like, unless you're really famous, you're not going to have the big mansion, right? So that's why I want to be famous. Otherwise, to me, fame is insignificant, very unimportant. Don't care so much about it. To me, it doesn't bother me either. Like fame is not something I'm really, I'm really uh, timid about. Um, I do realize I have a very good look. I do realize I'm very talented. So uh, when I when I get to fame, which I think I don't even think it'll be that long. I really don't think I'll be famous. Like I don't think it'll take that much longer to be famous. But when I get to fame, I will be someone that is. Um, so not really into the fame part of it that it won't bother me. Like, to me, fame is not something that's a big deal. And people are all the same, right? Like, when you get to be famous, you're meeting the same kind of people you met before, but you're meeting famous people, right? So they're all the same. And then the, there's, like, the, the range of level of attractive and the sexual orientations and the type of styles they like and the type of genres they do in film and all that. So you're seeing all that, you know? And that, that's across the board when people are not famous, right? So you see all that anyway. So it's like the same type of people, but they're only famous. Now, the only thing about famous people is that some of them will do anything to get you in film or do anything to get you in this. And, you know, it, it's harder to live that way. But, I mean, for me, it's not a big deal because I'm grounded. I have a good family. I have a good life. And to me, I'm not really swayed by it. And I live in a city that's small enough that I can, I, I don't have to worry about paparazzi or anything like that. Like, it's not a concern, right? because paparazzi don't really don't really go to my city so it's not like I'm going to be worried about it I mean if I get really really famous I mean I doubt I'm going to move to LA but I might I mean I, I don't want to cut myself off from that idea because it might happen but but if I move to LA or whatever California or something which I don't think I'll do I mean I like my city here and I like I like Toronto I mean the most I'll probably do is have a house in both Toronto and and Winnipeg and not really sway anywhere else or maybe BC too because I like BC but but um, in Canada but I mean you know like it's not important to me uh, to be famous but but yes yeah, so I'm sorry I'm getting off track off track here but yeah so I mean having living in LA would be cool I'm sure I'm almost positive obviously but but I almost feel like you know the paparazzi is a bit much but I mean, and there are people in Winnipeg that live here and that live in Toronto that are really, really, really rich, richer than people in L.A. So it's not like you're missing out if you don't go to L.A. or anything like that. So, I mean, for me, it's not a concern, but I mean, I want to be rich enough to have the choice to move to L.A. 
who wouldn't, right? Uh, but but it's not a concern really as far as it goes. But I really believe I'm genuinely a good artist. Like I really believe genuinely, I really believe that for myself. Um, and you know, in my recent times, I've really worked hard. I worked very very hard. Uh, and I mean, to me, I mean, YouTube is a blessing, right? Like we love YouTube. YouTube can do no wrong. We really love YouTube. And the fact that YouTube is so accessible for everyone, you know, you can be rejected by Hollywood or you could be trying out for Hollywood, maybe not getting the right parts, but you can do YouTube and all of a sudden you're a star and then Hollywood comes back to you, right? So, I mean, that's what I love about YouTube. It's just such a nice uh, platform. Now, now, I was very, very nervous. I mean, I think they would have hired me easily to do starring roles. Um, I don't think that would have been an issue. I'm pretty sure that would have been fine. Like, I don't think they would have had a problem with that. Um, I think that, I th and Lady Gaga talks about being rejected several times and then finally making it, you know, so it does take time and you have to deal with rejection. And, you know, there are people that are really crazy about Hollywood. You know what I mean? Like, they... They get anorexic, they destroy their own lives, they get really into drinking and drugs because Hollywood rejected them, right? So, I mean, that to me just seems ridiculous, you know? Like, your life is important other than Hollywood. You don't have to, you don't have to worry about whether you got rejected um, to that extent. I mean, yes, it's a letdown. Yes, it's upsetting, but it's not like it's the end of the world, right? Like... As a person, there's a lot of people that are great that aren't in Hollywood, you know? Uh, so, and all my fans are great, right? And some of them are in Hollywood. I'm not sure if some of them are, maybe some of them are. Some of them aren't, right? So, so you know, when you've got great fans, and you're like, yeah, you could be a Hollywood star. I'm looking at you right now. You could be a Hollywood star. But you're not, right? And some people are trying to do the same thing I'm doing, right? So, everybody has their own thing that they're doing and whatever. And remember, too, that Hollywood's not the only thing in the world. Like, you could have a business idea that just takes off, like inventing something crazy good, and all of a sudden you're richer than everyone in the world, right? So, and richer than Hollywood stars. But stars don't make that much money compared to business people and entrepreneurs. Some entrepreneurs make way more. People, people that make a lot more doing certain things. And you're like, you know, you're like, at the end of the day, is it worth it if you get rejected as a star? No. I really feel like a star already. I don't even have to have the subscriber count. I really feel like a star. I, I don't have the subscriber count. It would be nice to have the subscriber count now. I think I'll get that subscriber count. But, but I mean, you know, I, I really feel like a star. Look, look at this. Like, this is gorgeous, right? Like, this is incredible. So, to me, I'm not concerned because I feel like a star already. But, but you know, it is really nice to have the evidence that you are a star. Like, look at Kelly Clarkson. Like, Kelly Clarkson is amazing. We love her. She's awesome. She's really, 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 really good. When she was younger, she was so beautiful. She looked amazing. And that's how she made her mark in Hollywood and making it on American Idol, I believe she was on. Uh, but now she's overweight and she's had kids and that's the reason why. So yeah, you can't blame her for it and you can't be upset with her, obviously. And I don't, I don't judge people. You know, I'm not worried about her being overweight. But, but, you know, she's not as glam as this, right? Because... This is like a lot of work getting thin. And she's, she talks about eating pizza. She's not too concerned about her weight at all. She's more ha more than happy to be bigger because she's like, she's like you know what? I, I was thin for a long time. I just want to eat because I love it. So do I, you know, but, and I do eat a lot, but some days I don't eat that much, but most of the time I eat whatever. So, I mean, and I do have a diet where I count calories. So I do have the portion control, but, but you know, like, Kelly Clarkson is not as glam as that. Now, she was very, very glam before, and that's how she got into Hollywood, but she's in Hollywood now, and she's happy being bigger, and who to blame her, right? Why not be bigger and be happier with it? Why would you be unhappy with it, right? Like, there's no point, right? She seems like a very, very happy person. She loves, she loves her role in Hollywood. She's very, very good. She's one of the richest celebrities in the world, so why, kudos to her, right? So click that subscribe button. That's a little bit of a rundown on Melina and Marco's world. Thank you. Bye now.